hello everyone today i am going to tell you how to draw a simply supported beam along with a point load further i will design that um, simply supported beam so that you guys can understand firstly you need to know what is simply supported beam so for that i have collected one uh, picture so that you, you guys can get to know what is simply supported beam as you can see one beam is there and it is being laid over a fixed support or in a roller support and one load is being applied so we will simply um, simply draw such kind of a um, such kind of an element in a step so before that you, you need to open the step as run as administrator because if you uh, open it in as uh, run as administrator you can simply access all the features after that you have to click on new project S space after that next uh, we are like uh, we are naming it simply supported beam with point load okay after that add beam finish simply what we will do uh, we can uh, as you can see in my videos how many methods uh, geometry can be drawn uh, right now we are uh, right now we are drawing in a simple method like as grid method you can see uh, add beam option is there okay so we, you have to just click on this to this so that our beam length will be created having a length of 10 meter as we have earlier selected meter as my primary unit so what we need to do after creating a beam we have to simply go to general after that we need to um, give some dimensions of this beam as we are um, you can you can draw anything uh, dimensions uh, right now we are adding like 0 0.2 0 0.3 by 0 0.4 here of dimension length and uh, width and uh, width and height after that after clicking this one we have to drag hold the uh, beam after that we have to um, click on assign As you can see, beam properties has been assigned. After that, you have to go support, create support, then fixed add. After that, click to support as we have already clicked. After that, we have to drag down the whole the beam for that assign. As you can see, our fixed support has been applied, assigned. After that, we you have to go load and definitions. In order to give some loads after after entering the load and definition details you have to click on add then dead load for dead load we are naming it as dd dd and after that uh, we have to click live load of having a ll ll after that for dead load we are simply adding its own self weight having a factor of unity minus one kilometer per meter after that you have to click add after that you can see one self weight notation has been uh, has been added but it's not been applied we have to apply it after that we have to click on uh, live load have to click add after that have to go member load and after that we are uh, accepting we are now doing as a concentrated force with having a um, suppose we are adding minus 10 minus for downward direction that's why only and d1 will be your starting from starting point to how many uh, length far away from your um, point load application suppose we are adding 4 meter and our initial point will be 0 after that add close after that we have to click self weight after clicking self weight you need to drag down hold the thing or you can simply go to assign to view or assign to selected beams okay 
after that have to click concentrated force after that you have to click as you can see already beam been assigned so we are uh, clicking the assign to select the beams assign as you can see our load has been applied you are not able to see how much uh, far away from this load so we have to just drag down the whole things apply immediately uh, after that increase it it will definitely um, reduce the length of application but it is just uh, not notation only nothing nothing to worry about after that we have to go, simply go to analysis and add no print because we are not doing anything we are just simply checking whether the uh, whichever we have done uh, is correctly done or not you can see uh, no added has been there after that we have to go design or in order to design the uh, this beam uh, you, you can simply go to concrete design or steel design suppose we are um, added as you can see already we have added material as a concrete so we are going for concrete design so uh, for concrete design we have to click uh, IS456 select parameters lots of parameters are there you ne need not have to uh, bring all the parameters well it's all only depends upon uh, the structure we have you have created uh, like uh, bracing because they are having no bracing now nah? so you should cannot uh, give those parameters as your primary parameters but right now we are just simply adding uh, compressive strength and only uh, for main steel bars uh, how much yield strength we are uh, uh, ad adopting so simply we have added uh, two types of parameters after that we have to click uh, define parameters like uh, compressive strength we are if we are uh, uh, if we are uh, using m20 grade of uh, concrete then we have to simply click on uh, 25 000 add after that for main steel bar if we are adding 415 of mild steel then 415 000 add after that we need to go for commands after that we have to go design beam and take off design column is should not be there because in this geometry we are not using any column and not vast structure is there so that we can separately use column beam separately we are simply designing the beam when the take off we have to simply add and no slab is also there so we are not adding this one after that you can see you have to apply the concrete in whole the element okay drag down the whole thing selecting the this one and after that assign and main steel also apply on whole the element then main steel and assign after that design the beam obviously hold the thing you have to be dragged down and after that assign as you can see all mm, parameters which we have added in our design has been applied and assigned okay so now we can simply go for analysis no print add close after that go to analyze and analysis save as you can see no error is there simply you can check uh, your uh, deflections uh, sfd bmd uh, go to post processing mode done we are adding dead load and live load because we have calculated uh, using the download and live load now so we have to calculate all these we have to, we are now showing all the, mm, the loads using these two types of loads as you can see by, by click, clicking the control and mouse scroll by by clicking the control and mouse scroll downward you can simply check the deflection now you can see they are having a lot of options now you can simply off that one after that maximum uh, m direction and bending moment at z moment okay bending at z you can see after that you can go simply go this one all the torsion shear force z direction in uh, shear force in z direction shear force in y direction and all the things you can simply check by clicking this one and you can increase the uh, for for your better understanding you can increase this one by clicking the control and uh, mouse scrolling button 
uh, after that you can simply check all these things if you need to uh, have all the reports then you can sim simply go to you can simply uh, print it also after that suppose you need to check suppose you need to check your whole um, output file then you can simply go to results concrete design and after that you can see all the top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement etc has been provided as we can calculate in RCC uh, beam design and now what uh, takeoff does a takeoff generally weights and bar dia all the things in corrective way or uh, you can simply go to by double clicking this one you can simply check the reinforcement also you can see that's it for today uh, I have done simply supported beam with point load you can uh, further visit to my channel for next uh, such type of interesting topics so then you can get to know uh, anything about stat pro by sitting in home thank you for all give, give us thumbs like thank you